Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead, Georgia. You're on our mind today. We're coming down to Georgia and we have a lot of exciting things to see and to get our beekeeper adventure begins today. We made our way all the way down here to Lafayette, Georgia, down here in Walker County. And the whole reason we came, Mama is getting her bees. Hi, everybody. All right, so Mr. Jeff is going to take us on a tour of how I'm being set up to start my bee adventure. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. These are screened bottom boards. Okay, okay. And, and I need this because? This keeps the bees in the hive and keeps them from escaping out the bottom of the hive. Okay, awesome. These are the telescopic covers. These are typically the top of the beehive with the metal top and they're unassembled right now. Right. So uh, they have to be put together and, paint, and the wood is painted and then the metal top um, keeps the uh, weather out and stuff. So basically I'm gonna be Bob the Builder. Pretty much. Pretty much. These are the inner covers and they go between your, very, your top super and the outer cover or the telescopic cover. This is the inner cover. Okay, okay. This is a different type of inner cover. It's actually a feeding inner cover and it allows you when you install your new bees or in the fall to feed sugar water. And you use a special type of lid that will fit onto a mason jar. Um, and you can't use regular flats and rings like you do when you can because this lid is designed when you put the mason jar with the lid on it with your sugar water and it goes on here it touches right there on the screen material and there the the bees probo, pro, proboscis can reach in and be able to feed from it if you use a regular flat and ring it keeps it away and the bees can't feed and they'll starve this is a medium frame, mm -hmm. and it has a wax-covered plastic foundation, and this is typically what is used in each of the supers that you're going to have. Each super will have eight of these, and if you'll notice, if you can come in very closely, that you have the hexagon pattern of the bee uh, and the honey comb in it as well, and it allows for the bees to go ahead and to um, 
to draw this out and make the actual honeycomb and the little brood chambers and honey chambers and stuff. Yeah, it's, I, I still get bummed when that happens. It bothers me the most if I have to replace this one. Oh yeah. You get to help me. Um, you know, especially because I here I have to make notes for all my hogs and how long the queen's been there and. Sourwood. Ooh, there's an orange blossom. Oh, this is pretty way. good. Better than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere yet, but yeah. Try something else. Mm. Try the sourwood. Ooh, that is. You need to try the sourwood. Very good. Yes. Very good. Very good. Can we try more than one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What about the blueberry? No. It's not my personal favorite. But okay. What like about... The gallberry? Gallberry is good. It's got a really light flavor. Okay. Very gall like floral. Oh. Okay. Um, the tupelo is really good, but it's very sweet. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do? Ooh. That's got some spring in it. I like that. You need to try that. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, so tell me about the smoker. All right, this is your smoker. Yes. And I use regular pine needles that come in a bale. Um, use a little bit of um, newspaper okay. to start it first. And then you start packing and puffing, packing and puffing. Right. And it gets them uh, going and they're smoldering. These are pheromone based or smell based. Right. And the smoke acts as kind of like a stealth agent. Right. And it blocks their pheromone receptors so they don't smell you and it calms them down. So we're tricking them. You are and everything. You're a trickster. But uh, I am. <laughs> but the uh, but the smoke, that's what the smoker does. And before you open the hive, you smoke the top a little and you smoke the entrance. And as you open each super, you put the little puffs in there. And it just calms your bees down there happy that way. Bring some chill factor. Pretty much. All right, all right. Okay. But see, you would want that to fit just a little snugger. So if it were my glove, I would take it and turn the hot water on mm -hmm. and run it in it. Keep my hand in it, it's going to cause that, that leather to shrink up and give you more of a form-fitting glove. So we've decided to go with the round. I told everybody I felt like I was getting on the Titanic. This is going to work out just fine. <laughs> Here, is that what we decided on? Yeah, is it down at the warehouse? It's, it's at the warehouse across town. Anything we don't have. Bee brush. Bee brush. And your hive tools. Mm -hmm. And um, got you a J hook and then two standard hive tools. Okay. Because you can never, you'll always need one and it won't be where you can get it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We got our hat. Yes. And our cute t shirts. Yeah, yours. And good. Honey Be Healthy. Honey Be Healthy. Okay. That's mine. And that's yours. I won't touch it. No, that's, that's like a beeswax. So. <laughs> All right, guys, we're settled, ready to go, ready to go for the year. We got everything that we need. You come on down here to Lafayette here in Georgia, and you are at Pigeon Mountain. They really take the time to know what you need, get you what you need, and their quality is really, really great. High quality recommended. So we're packed up, ready to get home. What? It's a cat. Come here. This, 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 these wood stoves is for sale. You need a, you need a, you need a I took like 12 pictures. Let's flip around this way. We'll be in the light. All right, guys. Am I filming? I don't even know. <laughs> I can't see. We can't see the camera. Guys, we are heading out. This is Mr. Jeff and Miss Sharon from Shepherd, Shepherd's Watch. Shepherd. Shepherd's Watch. And the... Guys, these folks know everything, and they're going to be teaching you at the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference mm -hmm. all about ham radio. Right now, they're teaching me all about bees, and we're having a good time down here in Georgia. So we'll see you on the next video. Tell them bye. 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 <laughs>